and welcome back to Board Plays Little Nightmares. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have an intro prepared for this one. Let's just uh, get on with it. So I've been doing some thinking about uh, the channel. I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start posting these uh, let's plays on a Wednesday from this point forward. Uh, I've got my reviews on Saturday. Uh, any um, any first impressions? I'm gonna try and. Uh, sort for Monday. Just so there's a semblance of structure here, because just randomly uploading them all over the place is... Well, it, bo it bothers me. It bugs me a lot. I'm not overly organised, but I need, I need to do that. Jesus Christ. Oh. <sighs> the one downside to this angle of camera is you can't clearly make out everything. So that's fun. It's okay though, she's alive somehow. It's annoying because you can swim in the DLC. DLC. Hmm. There was humour there. Here come the guests, these hideous creatures. I really don't know what to make of the moor, quite frankly. It's a place where monsters exist. That's about all I know. Yeah, this is, is not the most exciting bit, just climbing up the side of it. I do like being able to see all that, though. Like, it's all obscured. That's one really big seagull. Like, I, I don't... And the sizes of things in this game are a bit difficult to comprehend sometimes. Ooh. Don't want to fall to my little death. Jesus Christ, there's like a Trump and Boris Johnson family reunion down there. Was that my most um was that my most impressive uh wording? No. No, it wasn't. I don't really care. So yeah, as I said, uh, you know, check back on Wednesdays for more of these Let's Plays. Uh, after today's one, after I've posted this one, I mean they're going to be relegated to... Relegated? I think that's the word. I'm sort of out of it still. I say still, this one's going up before the Dark Souls one where I explained, so... If you're curious on my attitude, uh, just go to that one. It'll, it'll make things somewhat clear. That had to hurt like hell. There we go. Just want to get this game finished because uh, I'm running out of space on the hard drive. I keep. I've deleted Generation Zero already, and that's a good thing because it, uh, it was taking up way more space than it had any right to. Yes, there's the creepy lady up there. There's something very sinister going on here, and I still don't entirely understand why. I've never fallen down there to my death. Uh, part of me wants to, just to see if it changes anything, but it'll probably just be six falling lifelessly to the floor. Is there anything over here to find? Nothing that's immediately obvious. I guess I'm just looking for more of those lady statue things to break. Okay. He's just chomping away on some meat there. Okay. 
plenty of meat right in front of you, baby. The artists and animators have got to be given credit on how well they've done all this stuff. They've made these things look appropriately disgusting. Oh, hug little now. Even though it looks like she's choking him, but. Six. Did a very half heartedly reach for you, so it's not the most friendly thing. I mean, later they're gonna like charge at us in a big group of hideous, so get to watch out for that. Yeah, these are genuinely some of the foulest creatures in the game. I don't think I've gone the right way. I usually stop playing before this point, like I usually like put the game down and uh, come back to it later. I think I got it this way. Can you finish your damn dividends there, you weirdos. There's a lot of annoyingly breakable things here. just knocked to find out someone was in here. I mean, this bit's quite weird. Because obviously someone likes to watch these guys go to the toilet. There's just a lot to unpack in this game. There's a lot to mentally unpack. in that comment, shouldn't I? I am not into this today. Oh, fuck off. Just hide there for a minute. Assuming he doesn't spot me, is anyway. 
back to it. I'm surprised that doesn't alert into my presence. I recently discovered, actually, uh, on the subject of Little Nightmares, there's an uh, Android game called Very Little Nightmares that you can get for like six, six ninety nine or so. You know, not particularly expensive. that would alert him that I'm doing something. Not this time, it seems. This time he doesn't seem to give him any level of a shit. There's a bucket here that a gnome's obsessed with. Um, Like this little lantern as well. And get ready to leg it. Thank God there's no stamina meter. Here they come. Just keep running. Just keep running. Provided my thumb doesn't slip off the uh, stick. sure he dies. But he can't feed himself. Cut his arms off. And here comes the starvation. It's quite weird that the second game doesn't address any of this starvation business. Like, maybe because by then she's actually sorted out her issues, or maybe she just didn't. Considering they look like little mushrooms, I've got to assume that they, uh... There was a shadow version of me up there. I assume they taste, well, very bland. I probably would have just gone with a sausage, personally. But then again, I don't know what that sausage is made from, so... Maybe people. I wouldn't put it past the chefs. Oh, there goes the lady. I want to genuinely keep out of her sight. Genuinely? Generally keep out of her sight because she, uh. You know, as long as she has line of sight on you, she will kill you. Lucky for all these convenient loose objects, hey? I have to assume she's the one in charge of this place. Like, if there is somebody actually in charge of this place, though. Like, Maybe there is. Maybe it's just a. Uh... We'll break that. I don't know why. I just wanted to break it. There we go. All right. So that's the uh, that's the guest bit done. Didn't take too long, which is good. I like it when these are short. I might go a bit long. I could go a bit long. No, no, I won't. I'll I'll save the rest for next time. Um. 
So yeah, as I said, keep an eye out on Wednesday for more of these uh more of these bits and uh we'll catch up then. That's Board Gamer signing off. <laughs>